Hey everybody, welcome to my channel where I do tutorial videos on features in 3D modeling programs. Today we're in Fusion 360 covering mirrors and how to use them. Uh, today all you're going to need is a plane, a 3D model, and a surface. Um, and really you can do a mirror with less. This is just to demonstrate all of those capabilities. So let's just drop down the Create tab and near the bottom we have the mirror feature. So it's going to ask you to select one of four different types, quote unquote, of things to mirror. Uh, components, I'm not going to demonstrate since that has more to do with um, assemblies. A component is, is an actual individual file, uh, and so it's similar to a body but in an assembly situation. Features, though, super useful. Um, as you can see, I've had this cut out square already in this cube, so I'm just going to select that. Feature. I can either click on it right here or I can click on it down here in the build history and it's going to ask me to choose a plane to mirror with and I have this one right here and I can use it I'll click on it you can see it demo demos it right here but the only problem is if I click OK there's nothing here to receive this cutout and even if it's an extrusion the same thing would happen it won't show up um, and so I'm going to actually deselect that because that's not going to work and so I'm actually going to select the ZY plane, but you can see I can't really click on it because this other face is in the way. So we're just going to click on it over here. And you can see it mirrored it over again doing a demo. But when we click OK, it's actually going to show up. We also have computing options. I always just go with optimize. It's the best out of the three. Um, really, there's not a huge difference if you're doing something simple like this, but the more complicated you get, you're just going to want the optimized. So click OK, and there you have it. You just mirrored that feature. So next, we're going to drop down pattern uh, mirror. And we have bodies. I use bodies all of the time. I, I definitely prefer using this bodies type. Um, so what we can do is we can click on this body, or we can also click on surfaces, which is nice. And then we can just click on the plane. And it's going to create these new bodies. We can also join them if they're touching. In this case, they're not really touching, so it wouldn't really work. And we'll click OK. And you can see it's just copied those right over. The last option is faces. Oh, missed it. Faces, I honestly don't understand why they put faces in here. Um, it doesn't work if you're going to be taking a face off of an object. You can see it's it's uh, demoing it, but if I'm to click OK, nothing shows up. It doesn't work. Only way it will work on an object is if you select every single face on that object, which just use bodies at that point. Uh, it will work, though, and it's specifically made for planes or surfaces. And so when you make, create that surface, it's going to mirror over. But the same thing happens with bodies. So. I just would, would just default and use the bodies. I don't see the purpose of it. But that's it. That's really all there is to um, using the mirror feature in Fusion 360. Very straightforward, very, very applicable, and very, very useful, uh, especially if you're doing things that are symmetric. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the, in the comments below. I've really enjoyed answering previous questions in these other videos. Uh, if you're liking these videos and you've been using them, please subscribe. I've noticed a lot of people are watching them but aren't subscribing. It does make a huge difference for me so I can keep making these videos. Um, but yeah, thanks again uh, for watching this tutorial, and I will see you guys next time.